we can do some pivoms in order to look at or assess the mid cervical spine. So I always make sure I palpate C2 first. As I said, I'm pretty boring. Angle of the mandible mastoid process, C1, C2, SCM, so I'll know roughly where the C2, C3 joint is. And I cup the head with my hands here. So this part of my hand is a headrest. I'll lower the table just a smidge and have you scoot up a little bit more. I know that the curve of the pillow makes it a challenge. Here we go. So I'm on zygopophyseal joints. That feel okay? Mm -hmm. Not tender on either side? A little on the road. Yeah, right there. Now you can almost feel if you just do these like little circles around the joint, sometimes you'll feel it thicker on one side compared to the other. So that could be some local muscle guarding or something, but it'll already give you a hint that there might be some sensitivity there, which is good. It's better than just going in and just trying to manipulate or hit a joint. You wanna know what you want to avoid. So as we do our glide testing, we can do neutral side bending to look to see if there's any restrictions. So I can just gently side bend at that level and translate. So if I translate him to the right, that's going to cause left side bending of the spine. So I could left side bend, or I could translate. And I could look to see if he's restricted. If I wanted to get closer to the barrier, I could extend him at that level. So then we're closing it and translate, and we found his restriction. Feel that right there compared to that. Do you feel that or no? Yeah, so he has this motion here, stiffer motion there, C2, C3 left. But you can just work segment by segment, doing that side bending or translation or a combination of both, starting in neutral. And then if you find a joint that you're not sure how well it moves or you want to match it with the weight-bearing pivots you did, you could add flexion and translation. And if I'm side bending to the left, the flexion would bias the right joint. Or I could extend and translate. And if I'm side bending to the left, that would be the left joint. And so you just kind of translate back and forth adding some side bending at the end to see what the end feel, feels like. So I want you to spend some time just working on that and getting a feel. Part one, just find angle the mandible mastoid process, SCM to get yourself to C2, C3, and then just work your way down, gently palpating over those joints. Then come back to the top and do some side bending or translation side bend, translate side bend. Part three, extend, translate side bend, and then flex, translate side bend to get a good feel of the joint. And if you're side bending to the left, and you're extending, that's closing that side down. If you're side bending to the left and flexing, it's opening the other side up. So it's just giving you a good idea. C2, C3, down to C5, C6, C6, C7.